for him, his family, amen. I'd not be for you long if I could get you all to stand. We'll, we'll read scripture and uh, we'll pray and, and let the party begin, amen. Let the party begin. I'm coming to you from Psalm 62. Truly my soul waiteth upon, the, upon God. From him cometh my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense and I shall not be greatly moved. Basically, brothers and sisters, what we're saying this morning is stay on the wall. Amen? Stay on the wall. Dear Heavenly Father, as only we know how, Father God, we bow our heads right now. We open up our hearts and we ask you to shout out your blessings in this place, in this house of yours, Father. Come on in here, Father God. Be here like you've always been. To rest us and cover us. Keep us out of the way of Or better yet, Father God, just simply keep him where you said he would be and that's at our feet. Today, Father God, we will stomp on him, crushing demons today, Father. For we lift you up on high. We thank you, Lord, for being God. We thank you for keeping us better than we know how to keep ourselves. We thank you for the food that you provide, the clothes that go on our back, and the roof over our heads. Keeping us warm when we're cold and cool when it's heat. You are everything that we need you to be, Father. And we thank you. Now, Father God, we need you to continue to be God in our life. Continue to bless us. Continue to be with us. Continue to teach us. Continue to love us. Show these things through our children, Father God. Allow us the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding to continue to bring them up, Father God. In your name and only your name. Let it not be about us. And let it all be about you. We ask you to do these things, Lord, because we know that you're able. You continue to show us each and every day that you're willing. Now, Father God, we are here today and every day to give you the praise, to give you the honor. Your hands should be clapping right now to give you the praise and to give you the honor that you are most certainly do. Let the church say amen, amen, and praise God. I don't know about y'all, but I'm in that mood to, to give God praise this morning. They kind of got me. I wasn't all the way prepared, but we're going to do whatever we can this morning, amen? We're going to do these things because we glad that we got Jesus, amen? I'm glad I got Jesus Down in my heart. I'm glad I got Jesus, y'all. Down in my heart. I'm glad, glad I got Jesus yes, I am. in my heart. I'm glad I got a friend Down in my heart. I'm glad I got a friend Down in my heart. I'm glad I got a friend Down in my heart. Church, I'm glad, glad I got Jesus yes, I am. in my heart. Today, down in my heart, and I got peace. Down in my heart, anybody glad? I got Jesus. Yes, I am. In my heart, I'm glad I got Jesus. Down in my heart, glad I got Jesus. Down in my heart. I got Jesus. 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 I got J
You got Jesus. I got Jesus. You got a mighty good time. I got Jesus. If you got oh, Jesus, I got Jesus. You got a lawyer in the courtroom. I got Jesus. Anybody got Jesus? I got Jesus. Anybody got Jesus? I got Jesus. Let me ask you a question. I got Jesus. Let me ask you a question. I got Jesus. Anybody got Jesus? I got Jesus. Anybody got Jesus? I got Jesus. Anybody got Jesus? I got Jesus. If you got Jesus, I got Jesus. You ought to wave your hand. I got Jesus. If you got Jesus, I got Jesus. Anybody got Jesus? I got Jesus. You ought to do your dance. I got Jesus. If you got Jesus, I got Jesus. You ought to wave your hand. I got Jesus. You ought to shout. I got Jesus. You ought to shout for joy. I got G. You ought to throw your hand. I got G. You ought to do your dance. I got G. I said if you got G. I got G. I said if you got G. I got G. You can help. I got G. I got G. You can brown. I got G. I got G. I have to got G. I got G. Do you for half? Oh, I got G. The brown got G. I got G. The brown got G. I got Jesus. Sister Brown got Jesus. I got Jesus. Sister Brown got Jesus. I got Jesus. And I got the Lord. I got Jesus. I got the Lord. I got Jesus. And I got Jesus. I got Jesus. And I got Jesus. I got Jesus. You the body got Jesus. I got Jesus. You the body got Jesus. I got Jesus. You the body got Jesus. I got G. I said if you got G, I got G. You ought to wave your hand. I got G. I said if you got G, I got G. Help me lift the Lord. I got G. And if you got Jesus, I got G. And if you got Jesus, I got G. And if you got Jesus, I got G. I said if you got Jesus, I got G. You got a lawyer in the courtroom. I got G. I said if you got G. I got G. You got a mighty good time. I got G. Said if you got G. I got G. You got a mighty good friend. I got G. I said I got G. I got G. Brother Hand, I got G. I got G. I said 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 I got G. I got Jesus. I said I got Jesus. I got Jesus. I said I got Jesus. Watch this. I got Jesus. And Jesus got me. I got Jesus. I said Jesus got me. I got Jesus. I said Jesus got me. I got Jesus. I said Jesus got me. I got Jesus. And do we have you? I got Jesus. I said Jesus got you. I got Jesus. I said Jesus got you. I got Jesus. I said I got Jesus. I got Jesus. I said I got Jesus. I got Jesus, blood. I got Jesus down in my heart, man. I got Jesus y'all. down in my heart, man. I got Jesus down in my heart. Show some bad. man. I got Jesus yeah. in my heart. Hallelujah, yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I got Jesus again and again. I got Jesus again and again. 
I got you. You kick me up. I got you. You turn me around. I got you. You place my feet. I got you. On solid ground. I got you. I got Jesus. I got you. I got Jesus. I got you. I got him. I got him. I got you. I got him. I got him. I got you. I got him. I got him. I got you. Hallelujah. I got G. If you got G, I got G. Got a mighty good doctor. I got G. If you got G, I got G. Got a mighty good friend. I got G. If you got G, I got G. If you got G, I got G. If you got G, I got G. You don't need nothing else. I got G. If you got G, I got G. You don't need nothing else. I got G. You don't need nothing else. I got G. You don't need nothing else. I got G. G. I got 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 I got I got I got I got Jesus in my heart. I got Jesus in my heart. I got Jesus in my heart. I Somebody ought to look at their neighbor and say, I got it, I got it, I got it.
All right. Good morning, New Direction. Good morning. It's a blessing and an honor to be before you this morning. I'll have your morning announcements. Can I have any visitors with us? Please stand. On behalf of Pastor Williams and First Lady Williams, we welcome you to New Direction. We are, we are grateful that you chose to worship with us. We're hoping that you enjoy today's service and will choose to return to worship with us again. Let's give our visitors another round of applause. So New Direction, we um, are among greatness this morning. So our very own Sasha Hayes has been promoted to principal. Congratulations. Congratulations to you, Miss Sasha. Congratulations to you, Miss Sasha. Best of luck. Mm. Just a couple reminders for New Direction. Please remember to donate children's book. Pastor well, First Lady Williams is starting a children's library downstairs. So if you have children's book to donate, ages 2 to 10, correct? Um, please donate. They can be religious based, they can be black books written by black authors. We're not specific, but just please donate those so we can build our library. Also, women, please remember to register for the Women in the Mirror Conference. It helps us to plan if you register early. We can plan for space and food and supplies and all those things. So if you think that you are going to attend, please register. Um, and if you need assistance with registering, please see Vanessa, Sasha, or First Lady for assistance. Also reminding you to please join us in person for Bible study each week and Wednesday at 6 p.m. here at New Direction. And join us every Sunday at 8 a.m. for Sunday School for additional teaching and enrichment. And um, my quote of the day is, you can either experience the challenge of discipline or the pain of regret. Choose wisely. Good morning, New D, family, friends, and visitors. Ooh, I'm glad I got Jesus. So I don't have a Tesla, but I got Jesus. And guess what, y'all? It don't depreciate. All right. Good morning, good morning. Now, on behalf of our pastor, First Lady, Sister Brenda over the missionaries, I stand before you to let you know it's time again to go down to repairs of the breach. So we are, I hope you all are ready for that. Now, last time we had an awesome turnout, did we not? We had 42 volunteers. You might say that's too many, but uh-uh-uh, because if God thought it not too many to send Jesus through 42 generations, then I tell you, it's not too many if more of you want to volunteer. And we do have much that we're going to do. It's going to be on July, June 10th. We're going to meet down here at 8.30, and then we'll go to, to the repairs of the breach. This time, we're going to do it a little bit different for the ones who went down last time, and you might have thought, well, there's not a lot to do. We're going to serve on site this time and we'll have two floors again so you know how we have to get the food out to the people and then they come back for seconds so again june 10th we're going to meet down here at the church at eight o'clock thank you let the church say amen, amen. let the church say amen again amen. give yourselves a hand for your presence today so proud of you all Amen. We still trying to get perfect attendance. We, you know, you know. So we, we, we cannot be satisfied, church, and this is for my new members, um, of joining church and not coming back. We cannot be comfortable with joining church and then just coming once a month or once in a while or for holidays. Um, but at the end of the day, I promise you, your weeks are 1,000% better because you came to church on Sunday. 
So I challenge you, don't you miss not Nan Sunday. Touch your neighbor, tell him, don't miss not Nan Sunday. Not Nan Sunday. Not Nan Sunday. I'm not bragging. I'm just testifying that when you miss a Sunday at New Direction, you done missed something. You done missed something. Can I get a witness? So I challenge you. I encourage you. I push you to come on to church every Sunday. Um, we want to keep this Sabbath day holy. We want to keep it sacred. We want to honor God by honoring him on the day he wants us to worship him. He got up on Sunday, and so um, that's the foundation of our faith. That's why we worship him on the first day of the week. Again, I want to just put that out there, and then want to mention that Larry Atkins, Reverend Atkins, he's out um, with some health uh, issues. We want to be praying for him. want to let you know that our very own Faye had a successful surgery. Can we give God praise for her? Amen. We, we, most of us dread surgeries and hospitals, period. And so for her to come out on top, we are grateful uh, for God's grace and mercy. Amen. Amen. And then I'm excited about our um, efforts to feed the homeless once again. As we try to do that once a season, once a quarter, it is the springtime. And thank, let's praise God for our missionaries for heading that up. Thank you, ladies. Amen to you. Amen. I got Jesus, but I ain't got a Tesla. Look, listen, I ain't got, I ain't got no Tesla. But I heard when you don't pay the, uh, the note on the Tesla, it drives itself back to the dealership. <laughs> That's not her. That's her. <laughs> don't get one. Don't get one, Dick. Don't get one. <laughs> Don't y'all get one of them new cars. <laughs> he late again. It's gone. It's gone. All right. So, again, just real quick, I want to um, let you know that um, the air is on. That touch somebody, tell them the air is on. The air is on. The air is on. The air is on. I, I see, see us fanning them funeral home fans again. So, we try, trying to help you all out to help y'all out. You know how we do. Just real quick, I know this is last minute and short notice. We have a first lady who is in demand out here in these streets. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And so I'm just asking for 10 people, 10 people, just 10 people um, to meet a first lady at Rock Hill uh, Baptist Church at 11 today. Um, Rock Hill Baptist Church at 11 o'clock, just 10. If we could just get 10 to support her. And I need two men. I need two men to follow her. I would go, but she asked me to hold down her podcast. But I need two men to follow her. Um, you can just go ahead and y'all see somebody, y'all can run together. Is that all right? <laughs> no, I'm teasing, I'm teasing. But I need two men to go uh, with the ladies. Um, that's um, 12th and Burleigh, 12th and Burleigh. Um, at the Rock Hill Baptist Church. It's really inside a, a Rock Hill at the Locos Community Church, but I didn't want to confuse nobody. So I need you to just be pondering on that. Think about that. High letter right after service. Let her know you're going to support her. Just 10 people. Is that all right? Amen. Amen. And then want to encourage you once again to come out to Bible class. I promise you, when you miss Bible class, you miss a lot. We are not just coming to church to be coming to church ever. We are always leaving blessed and better and whole and healed and delivered and, um, and really set free from what God has shared and shown to us. 6 p.m., one hour of power for Bible class, and from 5 to 6, it is a personal hour of prayer. I promise you, you will feel better just dedicating some time in prayer to the Lord. You can come here, get on your knees. You can come here, stay on your chair, however you want to pray. Fall on the altar, do what you need to do. But I don't want us to only pray in emergencies. Amen? Amen. Amen. The quote says, if you only pray when you're in trouble, then you're in trouble. Amen? Amen. I stand here to uh, ask you all um, for, um, to bless the Lord with a good offering this morning. We have been doing phenomenal. I've never had to beg you all. I've never had um, to push and 
prime you are to, to give your best to the Lord. This is a given church, and I pr praise God. Um, uh, I praise God for chicken dinners and fish dinners and what have you, but I'm so glad we don't have to sell them to pay the bills around here. Amen. Can we give God some praise for that? Amen. Just um, to let you know, um, we got a, a new stage coming in downstairs. Um, and of course, we are chomping down on that debt. We will still be debt free in three. We've got a large portion paid off already. Amen. And we'll be having a big announcement coming soon as far as our second uh, portion of that uh, mortgage and that debt. So I'm excited about that. And of course, we're always going to be upgrading um, little by little. That kitchen is next. We're going to upgrade that kitchen. Amen. Can we give God some praise for that? And we want to, um, and then we want to remodel and renovate those uh, two, our two restrooms as well. Amen. 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 So we always want to be um, improving. Um, God is going to do great things um, with us and through us. And so I want to let you know your seeds are falling on good ground. We've done so much so um, already in so short amount of time. And I thank you for what you've given. So I'm going to ask you just for a small offering of $25, if you will. And then I know we are a tithing church and we have went up. Last I checked, we have went from 20% tithers to 33% tithers. Amen. 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 A third. Ain't that a blessing? And, that's, and, um, and I'm sure it's even uh, more since then, to be honest. So I'm going to check it again. I know it's going to be more. But I'm just so proud of you all and thankful to the Lord that you all are trusting the Lord with your finances. Um, so on GiveLify, it's New Direction Christian Church. On Cash App, it's dollar sign NDCC Milwaukee. Once again, on Cash App, it's dollar sign NDCC Milwaukee. Let us stand from where you are. Come around. You are under our usher's direction. Give a round of applause to our youth ushers on today. Don't they look good in their new direction polos? I see y'all. I see y'all. All right, let's bow our head and close our eyes. Heavenly Father, we just want to say thank you, Father God, for the, the privilege and the opportunity, Father God, to give, Father God. We take this opportunity uh, not lightly, Father God. We ask you right now just to touch these gifts, Father God. Continue to continue to use this for your kingdom, God, Father God, to advance your kingdom, Father God. We praise for those that have given. We are praying for those that did not have the opportunity to give, Father God. But we ask you right now, Father God, just continue to touch our church and grow our church, Father God. These blessings we ask in your darling son, Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen.
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, this is my season to reap what I've sown. Hallelujah. This is my season for grace and favor. This is my season to reap what I Believe it. Oh my 
Can we give our male chorus another hand? Didn't they bless us this morning? Reverend Lyons, Deacon Bracey, KP, and to the baddest band in the land, can we give them a hand? Didn't they bless us? Amen. Hallelujah. Give God praise for your presence today. Let us stand in honor of the word. Second Kings chapter 5. We're going to look at verses 1 through 3 again, then add a few more verses. Last week, we used for a subject, hope for your healing. And so we're going to visit this text once again, hope for your healing, part 2. I pray it blesses you. Once again, 2 Kings, if you are visiting us virtually, 2 Kings, type it in the chat, chapter 5, 1 through 3. Thank you for following us. Tag somebody, share this post if you are watching via our website, newdirectionchristianchurch.com. Thank you, or YouTube. Subscribe to us even now. Second Kings 5, 1 through 3. Somebody say amen when you found it. Amen. Simply says, Naaman, commander of the army of the king of Syria, was a great man with his master and in high favor, because by him the Lord had given victory to Syria. He was a mighty man of valor, but he was a leper. Now the Syrians on one of their raids had carried off a little slave girl from the land of Israel, and she worked in the service of Naaman's wife. She said to her mistress, would that my Lord were with the prophet who is in Samaria, he would cure him of his leprosy. We're going to skip down to 9 through 14. So Naaman came with his horses and chariots and stood at the door of Elijah's house. And Elijah sent a messenger to him saying, go and wash in the Jordan seven times and your flesh shall be restored and you shall be clean. But Naaman was angry and went away saying, behold, I thought that he would surely come out to me and stand and call upon the name of the Lord, his God, wave his hand over the place and cure the leprosy. Are not Abana and Parfar, the rivers of Damascus, better than all the waters of Israel? Could I not wash in them and be clean? So he turned and went away in a rage, but his servants came near and said to him, my father, it is a great word to the prophet has spoken to you. Will you not do it? Has he actually said to you, uh, wash and be clean? So he went down and dipped himself seven times in the Jordan, according to the word of the man of God. And his flesh was restored like the flesh of a little child. And he was clean. Thank you for your patience this morning. You may be seated. Uh, touch your neighbor. Just tell him, listen, there's still hope for your healing. There's still hope for your healing. You remember this story, church, this little slave girl who's been taken captive from her family and her homeland um, says, if only my master could meet the prophet of Samaria, then he would be healed of his disease. This little girl has Naaman on her mind. Um, this little girl, in spite of what she is going through, has name and her master in her thoughts. This little girl, this slave girl, has Naaman in her prayers. And so she recommends Naaman to the prophet Elijah for his healing. 
What are you trying to say to us, uh, Pastor? Listen, God, let me say it again. This little slave girl has Naaman on her mind. She has Naaman on her lips. She has his name on her mouth. She is concerned about his healing. She is interested in him being better. She is desiring him to be hold of all people, of all things she could be thinking about. This suggests to us that God is about to put your name in the mouth of someone who can help you. Let me say that again. You missed your shout. God is about to put your name in the mouth of someone who can help you. God is about to put your name in the mouth of someone who can bless you. God is about to put your name in the mouth of someone who can help you recover. God is about to put your name in the mouth of someone that can change your life. Someone who can lift you up from where you are. Someone who can help you heal. Someone who can help you succeed. Someone Someone who can help you prosper, someone that can cause you to elevate, someone to help you get delivered from what you are going through, someone to help you get free, get to where God wants you to be. This text is saying God is about to put your name in the mouth of someone who can bless you. It might just be your neighbor. So why don't you tell your neighbor your full name just in case God decide to use them? Let me tell you, Tracy, my name is Jared Romel Williams. I I wish I had somebody here that you tell your neighbor your whole name. God just might use you to bless me. God just might use you to make a withdrawal out of your bank account. Make a withdrawal out of your savings. I wish I had somebody here. God is about to put your name on the mouth of somebody who can help you. Somebody that can answer your prayer. Somebody that can meet your need. Some, I wish I had somebody here. Tell your neighbor your name. I don't hear nobody talking. I guess you don't need nothing. I guess you ain't been praying for nothing. I guess you haven't been asking God for anything but my Bible says once you give and it shall be given to you. Good measure pressed down, running over, shaking together. Then it says, God won't give it to you, but men will give it to you. I wish I had somebody here. You waiting on God. God says, I'm not going to step out on the clouds and give you anything, but I'm going to send somebody to bless you. Send somebody to help you. Don't you scare away your help. Don't you hurt your help. Don't you shove away folk who trying to help you. God is about to put your name in the mouth of someone to help you. Text says, Text says, Naaman was the commander of Syria's army. He's a great man, the text says, in high favor. Great man, high favor with his master. Goes on to say verses 1 through 3, he's a mighty man of valor. Get this, because the Lord has given him the victory. This is interesting and ironic because Naaman is favored by the Lord, but does not serve the Lord. Naaman has been getting victory from the Lord, but does not believe in the Lord. Naaman is favored, but ain't saved. It suggests to us, church, that there were times in your life where God was on your side, but you weren't on his. I wish I had some folk here that can recall a time in your life where God was on your side, but you weren't on his. I know you're thinking about before you got saved, but listen, I'm thinking about after you got saved, after you were baptized, after you were blood washed, after you were Holy Ghost filled, after you joined church, after you gave the pastor your right hand and God your heart Lord have mercy there were some times that you were walking away from God but he was still walking with you there were some times that he was pursuing 
pursuing you and you weren't pursuing him there were some times he was chasing after you and you weren't chasing after him I wish I had somebody here that can recall that can reflect that can remember a time in your life where God was on your side but you weren't on his and you ought to pause and just thank God for grace you ought to pause and thank God for mercy because I'm not here by luck I'm not here by circumstantial evidence. I'm not here because of intellect. I'm not here because of me. But I'm only here because of grace. Somebody high five your neighbor. Tell them thank God for grace. Thank God for mercy. Because when I was not on his side, God was still on my side. Thank you, Lord, for being on my side high five your neighbor tell them the Lord is on your side even when you ain't hallelujah for grace hallelujah that he looks beyond our faults and supplied our every every need what's interesting about Naaman is When you look at the Bible, church, every other leper in the Bible can't be around people. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Every other leper in the Bible is untouchable. Every other leper in the Bible is an outcast and is literally has to be kicked out of the village, kicked out of the community, kicked out of the city, can't be around nobody but a leper. But in the text, this leper is married. What they doing, Reverend? (laughs) What they doing? He got a house. He got a job. He, he got a relationship with the king. He got a whole army. He got favor with the Lord. He has status. He has money. He's popular. He has ranking in society. He's somebody, yet he is a leper. How five your neighbor tell him he's a leper. It suggests to us that despite the big butt in his life, that he is the exception. I dare you high five your neighbor if you believe by faith and just tell him I'm believing by faith that you are the exception. I know nobody else graduated in your family, but you are the exception. I know nobody else lived past 60 and 65, but you are the exception. I know everybody else was on alcohol but you are the exception i know everybody else went to jail but you are the exception i know everybody else did drugs but you are the exception i know ain't nobody else saved in your family but you are the exception i know that nobody else get past their diploma but you are the exception i wish i had somebody here that i high five your neighbor testify to them and tell them i am the exception the cycle stops with me The addiction stops here. The curse breaks with me. I am the exception. I I can't hear nobody. Tell them God is going to do it a different way with you. How far your neighbor? Tell them God is going to do it a different way with you. Because you are the exception. You are set apart. You are different. You are peculiar. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are different. Not better than, but different from. I wish I had somebody here that can testify. Nobody else survived what you survived. Nobody else would have made it what you made it through. Nobody else would have lived past what you had to endure without pills, without therapy, without counseling, without medication. You survived because you are the exception. I wish I had somebody here that believed by faith. I am the exception. I can't hear nobody. Pat yourself on the chest. Tell them I am the exception. I don't care who else didn't make it. I don't care who else didn't achieve it. I don't care who else is broke. But I am the exception. 
wish I had somebody here that can believe that. Peter said, don't nobody else walk on water, but I am the exception. The Hebrew boy said, can't nobody else walk through fire, but I am the exception. Elizabeth said, barren people can't get pregnant, but I am the exception. I wish I had somebody here that can testify to the fact God is going to do it different with me. I ain't going to go out like everybody else. I'm getting out the projects. I'm getting out the hood. I'm getting off this salary. I'm getting above and beyond that which I have been through. I am the exception. I wish I had a few people here that's like Daniel. I know nobody else survived the lion's den, but I am the exception. High five your neighbor. Tell them you are the exception. You are the exception. God is going to do it different with you. And so, you are the exception. Well, Text says that he eventually takes this little slave girl's advice and he goes to Elijah's house. Since he's a big shot, the Bible says he takes his horse, horsemen, and chariots. Bible says he does not come by himself, but he takes his whole entourage. Bible says he comes with money, with gifts. He comes, the Bible says in verse 6, with, with 10 talents of silver, 6,000 shekels of gold. He comes with 10 changes of clothes and a letter from the king. An entire company of horse, horsemen and chariots stop at Elijah's door. But guess what? Elijah, Lord have mercy, does not even bother to come to the door. Mike said, you got to call first. You got to call first, fam. I don't, I don't know you. And so he sends his servant outside with instructions. And Naaman is a prideful man, and so he's angry. Do he know who I am? Does he know how much money I got? Does he know the power I have? Does he know who he's turning down? If he knew, he would have at least came to the door. Elijah says, I don't care who he is. And the text teaches us that some of y'all are impressed by the wrong thing. Lord have mercy. I know he got money, but is he saved? Lord have mercy. I know he got a nice car, but is he anointed? I know she attractive, but does she have the oil? I wish I had somebody here. I know they popular and got a lot of likes. I know they look good. I know they faces beat. I wish I had somebody here that says, but you got to know somebody that's saved. My grandmother used to put it this way. What good, Lord have mercy, is a $100 hat on a $1 head? You got to have something on the inside. You got to have love on the inside. You got to have kindness on the inside. You got to have Jesus on the inside. You got to have patience on the inside. You got to have humility on the inside. Too many of us are impressed only at what's on the outside. But high five your neighbor. Tell them you got to have something on the inside. Shallow people have shallow conversations. Shallow people have have shallow relationships and shallow dialogue and shallow comments. I'm too deep for shallow folk. I high five your neighbor. Tell him I'm too deep for shallow folk. I gotta have somebody that got something more than how they look, something more than how they dress, something more. I wish I had somebody here. It ain't about name brands because there is no name. 
above his name. Some of y'all are too superficial for me. Some of y'all are too shallow for me. Some of y'all are too fake for me. Your value is not based on your valuables. There is nothing more valuable than him. I wish I had somebody here that knows that you got a valuable God that's priceless. And whoever you with, friend or friendships relationships and marriage they gotta have something on the inside high five your neighbor tell them they gotta have something on the inside tell them my future husband gotta have something on the inside my future wife gotta have something on the inside my children gotta have something on the inside my friends gotta have something on the inside everybody in my circle gotta have something on the inside I don't wanna be around nobody Lord have mercy say high five your neighbor tell him you gotta have something on the inside we almost through here I appreciate your time and name it We almost through here. I appreciate you. <laughs> Naaman, I appreciate your time. We almost through here. Give me seven more minutes. Naaman is so prideful that he's angry that Elijah didn't come to the door. He touched somebody, tell him he wanted to be seen. <laughs> he, 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 he wanted to impress him. He's mad that he didn't come to the door. And God told me to tell you this morning, he wanted me to ask you this question. How long will you be mad at who didn't come? How long will you be mad at who didn't show up? How long will you be angry at who was not there? I wish I had somebody that can handle that question this morning. God said it's time to move on. God says it's time to get over it. God says it's time to grow up. God says it's time to release yourself of that bitterness. Release yourself of that anger. How long will you be angry at who was absent? How long will you be mad at that absent baby daddy? How long will you be angry at that absent baby mama? How long will you be angry at that absent absent father how long will you be angry at that absent mother God says how long will you be mad at who didn't show up I, I wish you high five your neighbor just ask them that question how long will you be mad at who didn't show up let me tell you what your problem is your problem is you are expecting too much from people and too little from God but I'm talking to somebody here that says my hope is in him high five your neighbor tell him my hope is in him not in man it's in God my trust is in him my passions my pursuits my dreams my future my tomorrows are in him high five your neighbor again tell him my hope is in him my hope is in him I can't hear nobody. High five two more people. Tell them my hope is in him. And if your hope is in him, I dare you just hold on. Hold on, high five two people. Tell them you better hold on because your hope is in him. I love them old gospel songs. Them old gospel songs had three words. Two words. First one, hold on. Verse 2, hold on. Verse 3, hold on. The chorus, hold on. The hook, hold on. The bridge, hold on. I wish I had somebody here that try to get this point of this song. I find two more people. Tell them you got to hold on. You got to hold on. Lord, have mercy. Because you will reap if you faint not in due season trouble don't last always because weeping may endure for a night 
but joy comes in the morning. I can't hear nobody. I find two more people telling me if it ain't good yet, that means God ain't done yet. If your story ain't good, that means God ain't done because my Bible says, and we know that all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. I find two more people tell him, you better hold on. You better hang in there. We almost through three more minutes. Three minutes, we out of here. So Naaman, Naaman walks away angry. Y'all might as well stand up, we getting out of here. Y'all ain't gonna have me here all day. Y'all might as well keep standing, we got to get up out of here. <laughs> Naaman walks away angry. Naaman does not want to accept the instructions because he's not humble enough to be healed. He says, I don't want to dip down in the dirty Jordan River seven times, but your blessing is found in how many times you dip. Your blessing is found in how many times you dip in prayer. Your blessing is found in how many times you dip in praise. Your blessing is found in how many times you dip in submission. You dip in humility. You dip in worship. You, I wish I had somebody here. You got to dip in humility. Dip in adoration. Somebody high five your neighbor. Tell them dip baby dip. I'm a little hood. That's 69 boys. Y'all don't know nothing about that. High five your neighbor. Tell them dip, baby, dip. Your blessing is found. And how many times you dip? I'm sorry. I'm a little hood. I had to throw that in. High five two more people. Tell them dip, baby, dip. You're going to miss your blessing. You're going to miss your healing. You're going to miss your breakthrough. You're going to miss your miracle if you refuse to dip. I wish I had somebody here that can just shout to God and say thank you, Jesus. Jesus for dipping. He dipped down in the manger. He dipped down in the tomb. He dipped down in the grave. He dipped down in death. He dipped down for me. Dipped down in the garden. Dipped down to blood drip. I wish I had a few people here that know you serve a God that dipped for you. I wish I had a few people here. See, Naaman's problem was he told the man of God no. And God is waiting on your yes. I'm through here, but I got to tell you, God is waiting on your yes. And I'm looking at a few folk that ain't said yes to God in a long time. You ain't said yes to God in a long while. You ain't said yes to God in years. But God is saying, he's waiting on your yes. Yes, I wish I had a few people that can shout even now. Shout yes, Lord. Yes, I will go. Yes, I will obey. Yes, I will listen. Yes to your spirit. Yes to your way. Yes to your word. Yes to your lordship. Yes to your sovereignty. Yes to who you are in my life. Yes to your plans. Yes to your purpose. Yes to your timing. Yes, I'll trust you. Yes, I'll hold on. No to my flesh. No to my spirit to my cravings no to my hormones no to my emotions no to my will but yes to your will yes to your way I can't hear nobody I can't hear nobody you ought to high five your neighbor tell him I owe him a yes your healing is one yes away your breakthrough could be one yes away your miracle can be one yes away somebody anybody tell them yes can't hear nobody shout yes lord yes i'll submit yes i'll love yes i'll forgive yes i'll go yes i'll stand yes i'll do it yes I wish I had a few more people just tell them, yes, Lord. God is waiting on your yes. Your deliverance is waiting on your yes. You've been telling them no long enough. 
But hallelujah, Jesus said yes. Yes to the nails. Yes to the thorns. Yes to the piercing. Yes to the humiliation. Yes to the shame. Yes to the cross. Yes to Calvary. Yes to death. Yes to the stripes. Yes to the wounds. Yes to the blood. And what can wash I'm through. away my sins? nothing but the blood of Jesus what can make me whole again nothing but the blood I dare you high five three people tell them I know it was the blood I know it was the blood for me one day I was lost he died on the cross I know it was the blood for me I can't hear nobody go across those aisles tell them God is waiting on your yes how far somebody tell them the blood still works yes yes i can't hear nobody yes yes to your way yes lord yes Yes Lord. yes, Lord. Open your mouth to tell him, yes, yes, Lord. Open your mouth to tell him, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Open your mouth to tell him, yeah, Lord. Open your mouth to tell him, yeah. Yes, Lord. yeah. Yes, Lord. Open your mouth to tell him, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So open your mouth to tell him, yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Open your mouth to tell him yes, Lord. Open your mouth to tell him yes, Lord. Everybody say, hold on. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta hold on. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta hold on. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta hold on. Hold on. Don't give up. Hold on. Don't you quit. Hold on. Keep on trying. Hold on.
doors of the church are now open. If you want to say yes to the Lord, why don't you come down those aisles right now? This is your opportunity right now to say yes. Yes. Yes, Lord, to your will. Yes, Lord, to your way. The doors of the church are open. Amen. Amen. Come on down those aisles right now and say yes. Yes. Yes to a new life. Yes to his blood. Yes. Amen, amen. This is your time right now to come down those aisles right now. This is a great church to work out your soul salvation. A great church. Give, clap it up for that. Clap it up for that. Let's give God some praise. This is a great church. Amen, amen. Yes. Amen, amen. Come on down those aisles. Come on down those aisles. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, are you saved? Are you saved? If not, you need to come down those aisles right now, right now. Amen, amen. Yeah. Amen. Let's give her a clap of praise. Amen, amen, amen. There's still time, there's still time, there's still time, there's still time to say yes. Yes, Lord. Amen, 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 amen. Amen. Come on, give a round of applause. Amen, amen. For your goodness. Amen. 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 There's still time. There's still time. There's still time. There's still time to say yes. Amen. 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 And his mercy, and your mercy toward, toward us. us. For your goodness and your mercy. Amen. Toward us. There's still time. There's still time. There's still time. For your Amen. And your mercy toward us. Amen. Come on, ladies. These beautiful ladies. Can we give them a hand? And look at them. They said we're going to do it together. They holding hands and everything. I am so excited. And Pastor, listen. Thank you for that word, Pastor. Listen. I needed that word. I needed that word. We have Travanda, Trishanda, and Travanda. Shav I'm messing up everybody now. Tell me your name. Trishanda. Shavanda. Shavanda. And Pastor and New Direction Christian Home. They are both coming as candidates for baptism. They have never been baptized. They said they believe in Jesus. They believe that he died on the cross. And that he rose on the third day with all power in their hand. And they want to get baptized. And I think we can do better than that. If the angels are rejoicing, we should be rejoicing with the angels. Amen. They are both coming for candidates for baptism. Pastor, this is, um, where'd she go? <laughs> I'm sleepy. I had six hours of sleep in three days, so give me grace. 
This is Crystal's best friend. So that's why Crystal is so touched this morning. She's, she has met her soul requirement for the year. Look, she's excited. <laughs> and this is Lula's uh, baby. Grandmother. Stand up, Lula. Right there. She is my grandmother. So we are so excited for them. They want to be baptized on the first Sunday, right? And so we are excited for you all. This is your pastor, Pastor Jared Romel Williams. He told his whole name today so I can say it. And this is your new church family. And we thank you for joining here with us today at New Direction Christian Church. go with our officers. I, I, I give her a new title every week. Listen, I appreciate you. Love, Praise God for, for our clerk. Listen, let's praise God for them again. We're so grateful for you, ladies. Hallelujah. God is good. God is so good. We thank God for, for growth. Let's give a hand for our children as they come back from Children's Church. Don't they look beautiful? I know they learned a lot today. And, um, and I can tell nobody got kicked out today. You know, I ain't seen no kid come in crying and whatnot <laughs> so I'm proud of them and we thank God for all our children's church teachers can we give them a hand amen Samantha and Siobhan and um, Sister Jackson and our missionaries so many others deacons and first ladies going down there checking on them I praise God for you all listen once again church I'm so proud of you I want to see you again on Wednesday at 5 for prayer 6 for Bible class and then in Sunday school at 8 and next week we are going for perfect attendance high five your neighbor we need perfect attendance one sneeze one cough don't mean you sick don't mean you sick listen Amen. Let us stand from where you are. Pray you have been blessed by the word and blessed by your experience here at New Direction. Visitors, thank you for joining us. God bless you. What an honor to have you all. Our visitors, First Lady, come on up. Let's give a hand for her. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you all for joining us today. If you are free, I just need about 10 of y'all to come with me at 11 a.m. Um, 1200 West Burleigh Street. It is inside of Rock Hill Baptist Church. I promise you we will not be there long. Thank you again for joining us today. Shout out to the children's teachers. They made little rainbows today. And I saw them downstairs working hard. Shout out to our newest male teacher, Greg Haynes. He worked today. And we're so thankful for him. Yes. So if you are a male, we would love a male presence to be down there with our children. Um, thank you all. Father God, we just thank you for today, oh God. We thank you for the word that went forth on today. Bless our pastor, Father God. Father God, we just thank you for the word that was poured out on today. God, we pray that we take the word and use it and, and apply it to our lives this week, Father God. We thank you for traveling grace to and fro, Father. Bless us as we depart from this place, but never from your presence, oh God. Bless everyone that came out today. God, we love you, oh God. We thank you for being so good. We thank you for being so kind. We thank you for adding, oh God, to our church on today, Father God. Give us the strength to come back out next week, Father, so we can have our perfect attendance. God, we thank you for dying on the cross for our sins. But we thank you for getting up on the third day with all power in your hand. God, we love you. Somebody shout glory to his name. Say hallelujah. Say thank you, Lord, on today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and thank you, God. Thank you for joining us today. Hug three people. Tell them I love you. And you can't do nothing about it.